Howdy folks, it's Ross here, your friendly neighborhood librarian and cycling enthusiast here in my bicycle storage room. Today we're going to talk about a few bicycling basics to keep you safe out there when you go out and have fun on the road. But before we go out, we gotta take care of a couple housekeeping items. Alright, so uh, cleaning's nice and all, I love to clean. Um, but beyond the superficial reasons, you might want to clean your chain, which would be, man, your bike's, look, bike's looking fresh, right? Um, the second one being, you're going to have a really smooth ride. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the third reason being, probably the most important, is it's going to actually extend the life of your bike. Um, when you have chains going on your gears, it's metal on metal, and you're bound to have some sort of um, erosion, right? Uh, that erosion gets worse when you get a bunch of gunk and grime in between your chains. Because um, it attracts, you know, uh, dirt and sand, and it basically makes an abrasive, like, slurry <laughs> and eats away at your gears a lot more. Um, so, yeah, we're cleaning that, you know, abrasive stuff off, giving up some lubrication so the metal, you know, does the job it needs to do with uh, as little work as possible. And so, yeah, cleaning is great. Um, you want to do it as probably at least once a week if you ride a lot. Okay, so we're just going to need a handful of things um, to uh, properly clean and lube our chains. Uh, first thing we're going to need is a degreaser. This is uh, what I like to use, it's specifically for bikes. Um, but if you don't have a fancy degreaser that you get at a local bike shop, you can actually use some household cleaners. Simple green will work just fine on your chain and gears. Um, after we're done degreasing, we need to lube it up again, so you want some lubrication. This. Unfortunately, it has no substitute. You don't want to use any household oils to lube up your bike. So uh, go by your local bike shop. Um, Triflo is fantastic. It's pretty cheap. It's only about five bucks for this whole thing, and it'll last you a really long time. Um, and to clean off the gears and chains, we're going to need a few rags. Clean rags um, work the best. You don't want to get any gunk on your chain while you're trying to clean it. And the last thing we'll need is uh, some tools. If you have a bolt-on wheel, um, you're going to need a hex wrench to get it off, and all bicycles use a metric system, so most likely you're going to need a 5mm hex wrench. Um, all you need is one of these. I like to have uh, one of these too. It's called a multi-tool. It has various sizes of Allen wrenches. you got your 6mm, 5mm, and 4mm, as well as your 2.5mm and 3mm and it comes with a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. It's really useful when you're on the road. Alright, let's get to cleaning. So I have flipped my bike upside down so I can easily take off the back wheel. I've also laid down some towels so we don't get a bunch of grease on the carpet. Um, this is best done outside, but since it's raining today and I don't want to put my nice seat on the ground, I'm going to do it inside. Um, it's also good, you can do it on linoleum, it's really easy cleanup. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start taking off our back wheel. So now that we got our bike upside down, we're ready to take off our back wheel. But uh, the wheel's going to be easier to take off if your chain is on your uh, smallest gear. So right now it's on our biggest gear, we're going to move it all the way down to here. And we're going to do that by pedaling the pedals with our hands and shifting also with our hands. So I'll show you how I do that here. Let's grab one of these with your hands, watch out for your head, pedal forward like a, make your wheel spin. I'm just going to shift all the way down. Hit the brake with your hand and bam, now it's easy to take off. Here you'll see our handy quick release lever. Uh, a note about this lever, when you're um, tightening and loosening it, you don't want there to be a whole lot of give. You want it to be kind of hard um, to open and close, because you want your wheel to be on here as tight as possible. Um, so if it's too easy to close, that's not good. You want to tighten it a little more. So you release it like that. This is in its tightened position, this is loosened, and then there's going to be a bolt on the other side right here. And you just do lefty loosey, so you got it loose. So there you go, no tools required. So there's some stuff still kind of in the way um, to getting the wheel out, and you can't, so you can't just 
grab it and pull up and yank it out. You kind of have to finesse it. So um, if you look at your chain right here, this little guy, uh, it'll move back and forth. So what we want to do is move it forward and pull it back as it's like that. And this creates a little space right here for you to get your gears out. So just kind of lift up and out, pull this back. And now your wheel is out. We're ready to get her clean. So the purpose of this portion is to clean the uh, gears on this part of our drivetrain here. Um, so to do that, I'm going <laughs> to sit down and get inside there. All right, so this is how I like to do it. Um, one thing to note, this weird little ring on the other side of my wheel, that's my disc brake, and so that's how I, that's how I stop. It's pretty... Uh, <laughs> pretty imperative to riding your bike outside, right? So a um, thing about these, you don't want to touch them. Your, the natural oils from your fingers um, can ruin them, as well as any other liquids. So um, when cleaning this side of the wheel, we don't want to spray anything on it because the debris might be, be able to get on the disc brake. So we, would, we want to apply the degreaser directly to our rags. So I'm just going to use one of these guys. And it kind of like, I want to get the edge, because the edge is really good for getting in between the gears like this. And this is kind of like how I take care of it. So, just going to put some on the edge here. Might get some in your hand, but that's okay. I'm going to get dirty. It's all part of it. It's a little more satisfying if you get dirty, too. Alrighty, so... So you just take the edge of this rag, kind of floss it through the gears, get all the gunk out. Another thing that works really well for this, if you have like an old ratty t-shirt that you don't wear anymore, um, you can cut off the bottom hem and then you have a really nice long ring, a thin ring that you can use to floss in between these gears. Alright, so just do this from top to bottom until they're nice and shiny and uh, we'll put it back on and uh, degrease the chain. Alright, so let's put the, uh, the wheel back on our bike here. So it's basically going to be just how we got it off, just kind of the opposite. So lift this chain up uh, by pushing this little lever right here. Make sure you got enough room for this guy to go back in. Dip it in here. Alrighty. Push it back down. That gives you a little extra room right here to push it down. You got disc brakes. Make sure you thread the needle here, put it in between the brake pads. All right, all right now, good to go. Push it down here, nice and secure. And then you want to tighten your quick release. All right, and then uh, if you have a bolt on, you're just going to want to kind of tighten until you can't tighten anymore. You don't want to over tighten it. Um, and with your quick release, you want to tighten it until the lever is kind of difficult to push in. You don't want it to be loose because you don't want your wheel to fall off. So tighten it until you get a decent amount of resistance and now we're ready to clean the chain. All right, our wheel's back in. So I'm gonna take a clean rag, which I have right here, put some degreaser on it, and we're gonna hold out our palm and just basically place it flat right there. We're gonna wrap the uh, degreaser part of the rag around the chain by making a fist and then we're just going to pedal the wheels um, with the pedals using our hands like we did when we got the wheel off in the first place. So I'm just going to pedal backwards this time because it goes a little faster and it's easier and if you're cleaning like this you might get caught up in the chains. So I like to just coast and do this. And we're just basically getting all the gunk off the outsides. Um, we can go inside the chain links themselves so you got a nice Ooh, yeah, so once you got that, you want to move on to another portion of the rag so you don't get all that gunk back on there. And um, yeah, you're never going to get this completely clean. You're always going to have some sort of grease or gunk get on your rag. So once you get to a stopping point, it looks you know, cleaner than it did before. That's perfect. And we will just uh, yeah, 
right, we'll stop there and we'll add some lube here. So, uh, we also need to clean the other portion of our drivetrain, which is the, uh, the larger gears up front here. And one of the tools I forgot to mention in the uh, first portion of the video uh, is a handy dandy toothbrush. If you have an old used toothbrush, it's a great tool to clean out um, your gears. Um, it's a good substitute for a rag because a rag can just easily get caught within all the, uh, the cogs and all, all the stuff that's going on right there. So, like you can uh, spray a toothbrush with simple green or you can kind of dip it in the degreaser, whatever you like. I'm going to dip it in the degreaser. And... Now we got it's loaded up with some uh, cleaner and we'll just kind of scrub away here. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. And the reason this one is dirtier than the others is because this is the main gear I stay in most of the time. I'm only going to shift to the larger gear if I'm going downhill and I want to go fast. I'm only going to shift to the smaller gear if I'm going uphill and it's I'm having some difficulty with the middle gear. So there you go, uh, just clean all the gears and wipe them off with a rag and, and you'll be looking good. So um, with the lube, we are not going to add a lot because um, the more we have, the more gunk gets in between and the more we have to clean it. So um, what I like to do is position the lube bottle right here and you can already see the oil coming out, right? So you don't even need to like squeeze it a whole lot. So position the lube bottle right there with my right hand, apologies if this blocks it, and then with my left hand I'm going to pedal backwards like we did when we were cleaning it. So I'm just going to lube up the whole chain. I like to get a couple rotations for good measure. Alrighty, so now we got enough on there. Take another clean rag. I'm going to wipe off the excess grease because all the grease, all the lube that we want on this is going to be inside here, so we don't want anything on the outside. Alright, let's hop. Once we got all the lube where we need it, let's go ahead and add it to the gears. So we're going to do that by shifting gears. Since we got some nice new lube on the chain, it's just going to deposit it onto the gears. So it's going to go up, give it some rotation so it coats the entire gear. Woo! Pay no attention to my skipping gears. Alright. Sweet. Let's go ahead and wipe off some more excess grease. Fantastic. All right, y'all, well, that does it for me. Um, I had a lot of fun making this video. Hopefully you'll learn something from it too. And um, if you don't want to do the whole entire detailed deep cleaning, totally not necessary. I would recommend doing that about once a month. Um, but if you just want to get out there on your bike and your chain's you know, a little rusty, it doesn't sound so good, you can just uh, lube your chain without taking the wheel off, uh, without doing all that stuff. All you need is your lube. And a clean rag and basically just do the lube portion of the video and you'll be good to go. Alright, ride safe out there.